Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jasper's Positive K9 Academy. And today we have a, a different type of video for you all. Um, <clears throat> as you can see from the title, a client came to me and her dog was like off the chain completely. Showed aggression when I first, like when we first saw each other. Um, was fearful, had anxiety. And I'm just going to walk do like a simple walkthrough of how to handle this dog and for the record i'm not a guru i don't claim to be an expert in dog training do i claim to be a good dog trainer yes but i'm not an expert i'm not a guru so um and you will never hear me say those words you know i'm not a master until i master it then yes but right now no it's not i'm not trying to put an image on i'm just simply giving out what i've learned so far and I will continue to give out what I what I've learned and more of what I learned. So um, let's get started. So this is Axel the Red Nose Pitbull. Oh, man, I was really really scared he was going to like lash out and bite me because when I first saw him, like when he was getting out the car, um, man, he was like barking, trying to like jump. She she barely could like hold him. I was like, oh my goodness, you know, I'm about to get bit. <laughs> my first time getting bit. But um, all in all, as you all will see, he's not a, he showed aggression, but he's not going to try and bite you. And as you can see right there, I jumped because I thought he was going to just walk up slowly and then shoot out at me. But that wasn't the case here. Um, he's a very, very sweet boy, man. He just has to build that confidence. You know, he has to build that confidence, let away the um, anxiety. And I told his mom to go ahead and hide behind a tree. I wanted to basically use her as the reward, you know, so that's what I'm telling her in a video. I'm like, no, nah, you can stay behind the tree. I don't want him to see her because his problem was like he wouldn't, as I was getting closer to him, he would go closer to her, like in between her legs, like so. I just told her, just get out of his eyesight. You know, I don't want him to see you. I want him to get used to it. And I don't want him to get used to just not being around her, like with, with anybody. I just want him to be comfortable out on walks, you know. So I'm not even really focused on any commands right now. I'm just focused on simply behavior modification and his anxiety, his fearfulness, um, building up his confidence, and then his aggression, you know, because... Oh, um, man, look, and here it is. He's get, he gets to tugging on the leash. I tugged, I pulled on the leash, gave him like a, a level one pop. Not Nothing too bad because I don't want him to hate the leash and fight it. You know, I don't want to fight him. It was some moments in here where I had to, it was like a hassle. He was jumping up, biting the collar and everything. And this is actually the collar that my boy uses. So uh, it's a little too big for him. It was a moment where it almost slipped off, slipped off his head. But um, all in all, I'm explaining to her just like her staying away from him, her not being that close to him. I'm trying to give him treats and everything like that. And nothing, nothing can move this dog. Like the only person that can move this dog was his mom. And now in this clip, I was able to get a little bit closer to him. Um, I was able to actually I think I pet him. Like, actually, like, rub him in this clip. But I'm just explaining to her. She's not behind the tree yet, but I did tell her to get behind the tree. I will tell her eventually. But I'm I'm closer to him so he can get used to me being in his vicinity. Um, get used to another person, you know, because she spoils him, of course. You know, I told her, like, that's a no-no. You know, we of course, we all love our dogs. We all, you know, want to... You know, just give them all the love in the world. But there is a time where, okay, I'm still the owner. You're the pet, you know. So right now I'm holding the leash up because if he does try to, I'm still thinking like I'm still a little nervous that he's going to just come out and bite me. You know, now I know that's not the case, of course, but you never know, man. In in the moment, it was really, really, I was like, okay, at any moment I got to watch him because he has the potential to do so because he's fearful, you know, dogs do bite out of fear. Now, look, this is where it got really. And I'm popping the collar to let him know, no, you don't do that. 
And as I popped it, he stopped, he calmed down, but then he gets back to it again. Because, he's, of course, he's never had this on. She has a harness on him in a collar, regular collar. And right here, the camera the camera person slipped up and uh, didn't follow him. But it's okay. And this was this was one of the fights that I had had with him. And I was just basically, I didn't want him to just lash out and come bite my leg or anything. That's why, I'm, that's why I have the collar like this. To keep that space between him and him and I, so and, and he he's very smart as you can see that he put his paw over the leash so I wouldn't and get it in the um get it like that I wouldn't get it what what's the word that I'm looking for that I just wouldn't get it um straightforward like get the leash yeah like that <clears throat> and look and there it is again he tried to go over to his mom as you guys can see because his mom is still over to the right of the screen. So he's tried to run over to his to his mom, and I'm not gonna let him because he needs to be confident. I mean, look at him; he's he's a beautiful, beautiful dog, man. Red nose pit, pure red nose pit bull, and I'm tugging on the collar now. Now the trick that I use, I don't want to pop it and get him over to me because he's gonna fight it. What I use, and you'll see this later on in the video, I just ease it. I ease and pull him toward me. So he can get closer and I say, good boy, good boy, good boy. And I praise him for that because he's closer to me. I want him to get used to you get used to like everybody's not trying to get you. Everybody's not a threat, you know, and he's very protective over his mom. You know, he's very, very protective, which is a good thing. I told her like that's a good thing, but you don't want him to to be like this at a child. You know what I'm saying? You don't want him to be like this over a child because it could go bad, you know, it, that's why multiple, that's why the pit bull is like the most, how can I say this, the most, um, like, they're, they're mostly in the news for killings and, and attacks and everything, you know, because people just don't know how to raise them properly, and you know, that's fine, that's what I'm here for, at least, you know, so, right now, I'm trying to get closer to him so I can pet him. I think in, I think in this clip that I, I pet him, you know, there was a lot going on, man, so I really can't remember, but bear with me. And I'm close. I'm, I'm as close as I've ever been to him at this point while his head is turned over to his mom, of course. And I think I was able to just pet him. In that. And I, I put my hand back because I didn't want, you know, I don't want, I don't want to get bit. You know, the goal is to not get bit, you know, so. But I still had it in, like, here it is right there. And then he turned. And I moved it, you know, I moved it because, okay, he's looking at me, he might, you know, he's already been acting crazy, I did it again, and I pray, I'm praising him as I do this, good boy, good boy, good boy, because I want him to have the confidence that it's okay to, you know, it's okay, people, people are okay, you know, you don't want to just lash out at anybody, you know, unless it's a threat, you know, so... This is where I'm just petting them and rubbing them, getting them used to my hand at least. You know, I don't have a decoy hand or anything, so I just use my hand. You know, I'm risking the fingers out there, man. <laughs> but um, but I'm able. I was able to actually get closer to him. I still, if as you can see, it's very smart what I'm doing because I have the leash pulled. I'm already holding on. The, not not too much pressure. I'm not giving him too much pressure because, like I say, I don't want him to hate the collar. I want him to dislike it because it would get him in order. I don't want him to hate it though. You know, to where the mom couldn't put him on, couldn't put it on him or anything like that. So, um, and now I, I did this on purpose just to see what he would do and just to see if I could get him to come with me. So I did it because he know, of course, he knows his mom is over there. And then eventually, I, I, well, not even eventually, throughout the throughout the whole session, I still used her as a reward when I was able to get him to walk, not me pet him. You know, I didn't want I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted him to just walk with me first. You know, I know that everything is OK, because as I'm petting him, he's still looking. You know, I want him to just, you know, trust that his mom is still going to be there. And, and here it is. See how he's gnawing on the on the collar, and I'm popping it to to let him know, like no, not like I said, not a huge level ten, nothing over a one because it's no need for real. He, he's not to, for me. It's no need. If it was a little bit more aggressive, then yeah, I would have gave him a little bit more of a correction. Should I say I should stop saying pop? 
I should have gave I I would give him a little more of a correction if it was if he was a little more aggressive. So now I'm wrapping the leash up, holding it tight, rubbing him, praising him as I rub him, you know, letting him know. And now I'm able to rub him and he's looking at me. He's you know, he was getting um he was getting more more excited at this point. You know, this is a point in in where I could actually see I was making some progress. You know, I I thought I, like I thought I wasn't I wasn't going to be successful in this session at all. But um now I'm trying to egg him on to see if he will move toward me. You know, now I'm able to go up to him and pet him and you know now I'm trying. That's why I was patting on my leg, and I had a clicker to try to get his attention every day. Nothing worked for this dog, man. I had it. I brought a toy. I brought food. <laughs> I brought the clicker. The only thing that would work was his mom. And, you know, that's not good because she has a personal life as well. You know, yes, she takes care of him, but also she wants to be able to walk him without being so fearful. Walk him without being, you know. So anxious and you want him to be a confident dog at the end of the day, you know, especially a dog like this, like I've said. And that's and now I'm explaining to her that I don't want to just yank the collar, you know, because that, uh, that, that's moving backwards in a sense, you know, that's moving backwards. There's really no need for me to, there's no need for me to yank the collar. You know, and now he he's actually making progress, and I'm and I'm telling him, good boy, good boy, good boy, because this is this is progress. It's little, it's baby steps, but yes, at the end of the day, it's a dog. And in dog training, I think that whatever small progress, and now I'm egging him for real. But at this point, see the car is over there, the car that he got out of, but he's still walking. You know, at the end of the day, he's still walking with me. But is he trying to get to the car? Yes. And this is where we had another hassle at. And this is where his collar almost got out of. Uh, it got from uh, around his neck, you know, so um, I'm like, because I, at first I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, OK, he's just walking and then he stopped. And then I'm like, OK, the car is over there. So he clearly knows he's a very, very smart, intelligent dog. You know, his confidence is just low. His self-esteem is just low. He wouldn't even use the bathroom until the end of the session when, where I got him to be more confident. And, you know, so um, now I, now I notice what he's doing. So I'm grabbing the leash back, getting closer to him, rubbing him again. And I, I just want to go light. I don't want to just, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I don't want to be too excited when I'm rubbing him. I don't want him to get scared of anything. Because when you're dealing with a dog like this, it's, to me, it's, it's, it's not my, it's my first time of this level. Because I dealt with a dog like this that was anxious and everything like that. But it was more so of a disobedient thing with her. He, I can tell he's not even disobedient. It's, it's just really, and now I'm giving him pops, well, corrections now i'm giving him more corrections and higher corrections because he's getting more aggressive he was moving he was moving a little bit more recklessly it's like no and now i'm praising him still i'm praising him even though he's going back to his mom and this is where i think i use his mom as a uh, reward this time to just let him know good boy good boy i don't care if he's pulling on a leash because i'm not here for commands just yet you know i'm here for behavior modification and to boost his confidence. I didn't want to stress him out too much. You know, I didn't want to put a lot on his mind. I just wanted to work with him. Yeah, and this is where I said, okay, go ahead. Because now you get rewarded for, you know, being confident, which you're already supposed to be confident in the first place, you know. But and she loves his dog. She loves his dog, man. I can tell, you know, she she came to me and you know, she she even told me like she was nervous he was he was gonna bite me, and I'm like yeah, me and my camera person, which is my girlfriend, shout out to her, thank you. Um, she's that's why she's so far away because she, if if we would have captured it on camera, like he was acting crazy, I was like, oh snap, you know. So um, now I'm trying to, you know, get him back, and, and you know he's still still nervous, still anxious or whatever, feel fearful to leave his mom's side. That was just the first time. <laughs> so um now I'm trying to he's standing his ground man he he really has a a lean to him you know if you could see it like and now I'm popping the collar I think if, I think his other collar was like caught on the correction collar so I was trying to fix that and I was actually able to walk up from walk up from behind 
and actually touch him and everything, he wouldn't freak out. You know, he didn't even. And I, I jumped back because I don't want him to do anything. I don't want him to. I'm still like, all right, mission's not complete. You know, mission is complete where he can walk with me, be confident and not pay attention, not just be, you know, too too anxious to 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 go explore. You know, I was telling her like let him smell, let him explore, you know, and let him and now I'm I'm trying to step on the leaves outside cuz I know those make like cracking sounds, so I'm trying to it nothing, man. Nothing can move him but praise, you know, relationship relationship based training. Even though I like the correction collar the most for the training method, you know, I I like relationship based as well. I think that'd be second, and then you know lure training, but really relationship praise, and you know that's why I just threw the treat, I threw the toy on the ground because I'm like, okay, nothing like nothing was moving him, man. But now I think I was able to get him to walk in this clip, and now I'm tugging on it. Now I'm just pulling it to let him know, but I'm not doing it as you can see. The level, the level of correction is light, very, very light. And now this is where I, I start easing them. So this is this is like this is like one of my favorite methods, man. When a dog doesn't want to move on the leash and when it's fearful, because I had this was I had I I did this with the uh, Presser Canario Pit Bull, and I'm and I'm also um praising him for each step that he takes each and every step that he takes I'm praising him for it you know because that's yeah I'm 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 um bringing him over to me but he's still he's still moving you know it's just just something you know just tell it tell to, that tells him okay I'm doing something good I'm walking you know even though he's bringing me over I'm walking so I'm not doing it and and also I'm not even easing him over to me hard it's really barely any pressure you know i don't want him to like i said i don't want him to hate the collar and i'm I'm like doing everything to try to get his attention i'm like doing everything and this is where i think he came up to me and i was like good boy this is the part where i was like okay i finally did it and i'm like come on boy come on axel come on axel and this part really lit my day up man because i was scared bro I was scared, man, and I this is at the part, and I stood up because you know I still don't want him to, you know I'm not I'm not I'm not comfortable with him either right now. Like I'm comfortable with him, but I'm I'm still aware and cautious of the fact that you know anything can still happen. But I praised him. I really I praised him a lot, and then I let him go over, ran over to his mom to reward him. You know, it's just it's man, you can train a dog any type of way like like literally and like i said i'm not an expert but that's just my way of thinking you can train a dog any with any like anything that you can think of basically if it works then okay you know excuse me you know so try things that work you know don't 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 try to force anything on your dog like if i tried to force the treats to him or force the toy it, it would have went wrong you know I, I tried to do something that that i kind of thought would work out and now i grabbed the regular leash it's on the harness and just to see if he will walk with me and now i'm telling her like this is what i wanted i use you as a reward I, and me easing the car i'm just explaining to her everything that i'm explaining to you all you know and at this point, everybody's having fun. Everybody's smiling from me to <clears throat> um, the client to my girl. Like, we all, like, happy for Axel, man, because he and, she, and, the, and the mom even said that her friend, when she tried to go pick him up before she came to me, and Axel was barking at him and almost bit him because, and I asked her, I, I kind of already knew, like, did he try to come at come at Axel with his hand already reaching out? It's just a no no for each dog, you know. It, it it's especially a dog like this. But of course, he didn't know anything, so I told her as well, like tell him no, just let him sniff, let him do his thing. And now he's exploring more. Tail is wagging. I was able to successfully change this dog's life. You know, it's like just change his life, man. So next. 
you know, next time I see him, it'll be the commands and getting him to be obedient. This this first session, I didn't did definitely did not want to put too much stress on him, man. You know, because we was able to succeed, and he's just pulling away. Now he now he's pulling me. <laughs> you know, at first I was pulling him, so you know it's really really good that I'm able to that I was able to do this, man. It's really really I'm. I was ecstatic, you know. If I'm hopefully I'm using that word correctly, you know. It's, but I was I was I was very very happy for him. I was happy for his mom especially because she was scared as well. Like he could bite somebody, you know. And after that, after your dog bites somebody and they hurt him badly or potentially kill him, then it's time for them to go down. So, um, able to walk. Look look at it. Look at him, man. It's a beautiful beautiful thing. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, gained some knowledge from this video. Um, give a thumbs up, give a subscribe, you know, this content is, this is valuable content. You could use this with, if you have any of these problems, use these tips and tricks and this training method, man. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for all of the support. And until next time, um, yeah, man, peace. <laughs> We're going to take a look at this next clip. It's, these are just the clips that um, when he was just, you know, more confident, more happy, and, you know, just overall excited, man. Overall excited to be a dog. Excited to be, you know, Axel the Red-Nosed Pitbull instead of being afraid. Like, instead of being, instead of him being afraid, but... I was so glad I was able to do this. So glad to help. Um, and yes, man. Have a good one. And until next time, peace. This is my first vicious dog that I'm working with today. A red-nosed pit bull at that, man. Um, wait until y'all see how this dog acts. Like, bro, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm on the way. I, I forgot my correction collar back at the house, so I'm on the way to the house right now to get it. I stay right down the street from where I'm um, from where I'm uh, training from. So I'm scared though. Hold on, pray with me now, cause I don't want to get bit, man. This is a real red nosed pit bull too. It doesn't look like it's mixed with anything. Probably a little staff, staff or shot bull terrier, but it doesn't. It, it looks pure though. It looks pure. But man, I'm scared. I'm scared, you know. I'm gonna have her put the collar on them though, and just click it around them, and then I'm gonna go grab the leash, you know. So but we gonna we gonna get there, man. We gonna get there, uh, work with him, um, cause it seems like he's scared. It doesn't even seem like he's. It doesn't even seem like he's vicious. It just seems like he's scared, you know. So it doesn't seem like, of course. He's barking. He bark, he's barking. He's, he 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 has the potential to bite me, but at the same time, I don't think he's biting me out of him thinking that I'm a threat. Let me say that. I think he's more so biting me out of um, out of just fear. But I'll be right back. And yeah.